Well, NASA has lost contact with its capstone satellite that Rocket Lab launched towards the moon from Mahia last week. The lunar satellite was released early yesterday, but NASA says it's lost contact and is working to re-establish communication. Rocket Lab says its involvement in the project was successful, but it is working with NASA to offer them support. For more on this, I'm joined live in the studio by Richard Easter, a professor in the Department of Physics at the University of Auckland. Thanks so much for coming in, oh, Richard. It's a pleasure. Are you able to give us sort of a layperson's explanation about what exactly has gone on here and if it's savable? Um, well, the first part of it is that the Rocket Lab's job was to inject the, the capstone satellite into a path directory towards the moon, and it did that. And so it's something like a, you know, a taxi has dropped your friend home, and you know they get out of the taxi, and the taxi says right, and then you, the friend says they're going to call you, and they haven't called, and so then you start to worry. You know, did they, did their phone die? You know, have they gone to see your friend, or you know, has has some misadventure befallen them? You know, have they kind of wandered off into the woods or whatever? And so the the, the concern for NASA now will be that, you know, maybe everything's OK and for whatever reason the spacecraft has kind of, you know, got itself into a funny state and it will try, you know, it'll have instructions on board to get itself out of that. Or alternatively, there's, you know, obviously a concern that there will be some, you know, deeper failure on the spacecraft. That, failure. That, that's so not So what's trouble. the time frame there? If, if they were, if it was something like a reboot, um, when would we expect to hear? Where would NASA uh, expect Imagine that they'll be working on it over the next few days. Um, and if a longer period than that goes by, then that, you know, it, with each passing day yeah. um, that goes by without hearing anything, then obviously the risk that, that it's not recoverable gets higher. With a mission like this, how high is the margin for error? I mean, are we talking just a few decimal points here, a few centimetres there, or how easy is it for something to go wrong like this? Um, from the spacecraft itself, um, you know, obviously there's a saying that space is hard, and so it's, it's, there's always things that can happen that you didn't expect. Uh, for this particular trip to the moon, um, it's a fairly leisurely trip um, out to the to, to the to lunar space. So from that point of view, they do have a few days up their sleeve in terms of the trajectory, which they might not if they were taking a more direct route. OK. Once we get a few of these launches under our belts successfully, what do you see as the future here in terms of New Zealand's stance in the space race? I mean, it, it, the sky's the limit. I mean, one of the most exciting things about this is that from Rocket Lab's point of view, it's demonstrated that the lunar photon, the, the carrier, you know, the part of the, that they've contributed, you know, works as planned and um, it's escaped the Earth's gravity and you know, put their spacecraft on a trajectory to the moon. And there's only a handful of organisations around the world that are able to do that. And so there's lots of ways that you, lots of exciting things that you could do with that, uh, with, you know, planetary science that, that was done from New Zealand, potentially in collaboration with, um, you know, space agencies in other countries. How confident are you of a solution to this one? Um, I think that's in the lap of the, you know, that, that, that's, that's in the lap of the gods and it depends entirely on what's happened on the spacecraft. Yeah. And so if it's a way to get it back, they'll get it back. Um, but if something's gone wrong that's not fixable, then, then that's where it yeah, is. Yeah, it'll so. be a, a dramatic wait, won't it? And it's good news that Rocket Lab's part, their taxi service, they're, they're as you gonna... put it, was, <laughs> was, uh, was uh, spot I mean, but, on. But, you know, from their point of view, they'll obviously be happy that they've done their job exactly. and everyone agreed. Um, on the other hand, you know, they'd obviously be happier still if everything was working. So, yes, so, yeah, yeah, great. Okay, thank you very much for that insight. So interesting, Richard. Pleasure. Okay, 